five, four, three, two, one. Yes, today was the day that my wisteria of 25 years decided enough was enough and it had to lie down on the lawn. Well, hello everybody. What shall I do today? I think I'll have to deal with this. Today is Thursday the 13th of August 2020 and 25 years ago I built this workshop and in here I put a wisteria and today it decided to lie down on the grass. Ah. So now I've got a job to cut it back and try and prop it back up again. The pear tree, by the way, that was holding it up is this. And the whole lot is as light as a feather and just snapped off. It was the last of the fruit trees in this garden that um, were part of an old orchard. I say the last, there's uh, one, two, there's three, three left, I think that's about all. Um, but yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I was talking about it this year, but uh, I didn't think it would happen so dramatically. And for no particular reason at all, it wasn't windy, it wasn't wet, it just fell over and lay down on the grass. So the plan is this. I, last night I did manage to cut all this off. So I'm going to uh, cut off as much as I can. And I think it will still survive. Uh, that will make it lighter. And then I'll prop it back up and push it back up. And then try and build some support to keep it going. Right. Here we go. Let's hope it didn't get too hot. Ah, specs on, and away we go. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? 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 There's a couple of things to note here. The younger pieces cut really easily. If they're a bit older, and the, yeah, they cut like wax, it's great. They're a bit older, they're difficult to cut. But the way it ties itself around, I mean, look at this piece here. Turned right on, you know, so it's come down here, and there, and then turned completely on itself to come over this way. Absolutely amazing. Right, before I try and lift this, which I'm about to do over here, and get it to the top of here. If I can lift it up to here, then that would be a big help. But let me just show you the, the damage to the, that's the trunk at the bottom. It was leaning over quite a bit already. So with a bit of luck, if I can put it back upright, it might survive. If I just lift this up to the height of there, then I can get underneath and uh, make some progress. Nearly, but not quite. Blocks of wood, I've got blocks of wood. Oh yes.
so far, so good. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? 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 much as I can do as I say just got to sort this stuff out now but uh, I think it's at more or less the same angle as when it was growing before it fell down and there was a split just here but that's all the damage there is so with a bit of luck from these various growth points it may come back into its own. Time will tell. <sighs> Time for tea. Yes, believe it or not, it's all gone. In a very short matter of time. I rang up somebody, it was Tom, of Allwood Tree Services. And uh, straight away he turned up, he had nothing else to do today, so we agreed a price and he took it all away. That's a big, big help. So that's gone. The wisteria is <laughs> somewhat back in place. And we'll just see how it all pans out. Okay. Ah, oh, what a... Almost not, not even 24 hours from when it fell down to being sorted out, so I'm quite pleased with that. And it's a lot cooler today, I have to say. Oh gosh, and we've had a little bit of rain as well, so it's now the normal temperatures of about 19, 20 degrees, which is much, much more comfortable. Very good. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.